How's it going guys? A uh, quick video here to show you the differences uh, between the uh, functionality of the S Pen on the new Note 5 versus the Note 4. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the uh, Note uh, 5. One of the things that I like now is that with the screen off, when the screen is black, you can still take notes. So if you access the S Pen here, you can go ahead and write something, let's say test note 5 so as you can see you can take quick notes this is actually really useful you know in case you uh, remember something or you're looking at something you want to take a very quick note you don't need to uh, turn on the screen or unlock the phone just access the S Pen right away take your note and you can delete it you can uh, from this point delete what you write start over you can save it or simply just put the S Pen back inside and the note it's gonna be safe. You're gonna get a notification here uh, saying that the uh, screen of memo save as actual memo in the S Note folder. Uh, let's also see that's not possible with the uh, Note 4. Uh, the, the other thing, let's go ahead and access right here the S Pen while the screen is on. And let's go ahead and do the same thing here with the uh, Note 4. So I can show you guys uh, the difference in menu. Now take a look at that guys. Uh, you know, this is the interface here with the uh, Note 4. I actually like better the uh, interface that we have on the uh, Note 5. Pretty much is the same options, but just different interface. I like this one better. Now I'm not gonna get into each of these because it's pretty much the same. You get the actual memo, you get the smart select, image clip and screen write. It's the same thing that you get right here. Smart select, actual memo, screen write, is Note. But what is new here on the uh, Note 5, it's this uh, plus symbol, as well as the floating icon. We click on the plus symbol, this is gonna let you to add a quick access applications to your uh, shortcuts. So for example, right here, we click on this game, and we click on Chrome, we go back here, and as you can see now, those uh, were added right here for quick access. If you don't want them there or you want to replace it for something else, we click right here. Click on uh, shortcuts right here. Click on the minus. And as you can see, they are deleted. When we go back, they are not there. Now, the other thing that is new too, it's the uh, floating icon, which you guys don't see here. So, for example, if you exit, uh, exit this, Go inside of the app drawer. As you can see, the menu went away. It's not there anymore. If you want to uh, get back to that menu, because you want to screen capture or something or do a note or something, you're going to have to press right here on the S Pen uh, to bring the menu back. With this phone, you don't have to do that. I went back to the main screen right here. And as you can see, I still have access right here to the floating icon. I can be looking at the uh, market right here. There's the floating icon. And the benefit of the floating icon is that at any point you just tap right there, that's gonna bring up the, the menu, and then from this point you can select whatever you wanna do. Uh, you're looking at the uh, gallery, you wanna take a screenshot or do something with the gallery with the S Pen, click right there, it gives you access quick to the uh, your uh, commands. Now, also here, access to the settings of the S Pen, uh, you can turn on and off the floating icon. You can turn off uh, Air Command. And now with the uh, Note 5, there's a new option. If you walk away without putting the S Pen back inside, the phone is gonna give you a notification and let you know that uh, you didn't put the S Pen inside. Now, as far as the uh, S Pen difference, uh, take a look at them. They're about the same size, but the bottom right here on the uh, S Pen for the Note 5, it's a little bit smaller than the bottom that we see on the uh, S Pen for the Note 4. Also on the uh, Note 5, the top part of the pen, you can actually click on it. Uh, you don't do that on the uh, Note 4 uh, S Pen. Now, in order to access the S Pen here uh, on the Note uh, 4, just simply put the, the S Pen back, press, and that's it. 
Uh, if you want to access the SP, we just uh, grab it from right here, and that's it. Uh, with the Note 5, with the Note 5, you put it back inside, and you have to press right there and click. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and try to access it. And you have to press right there and access. See, this uh, option right here, I would say that I like better the way that you access it on the Note 4 because it's more, uh, it's easier. You know, I can just go like this. It's out. I can't do that with one hand on the Note 5. I have to press and then pull the S Pen out. So I will say, in my opinion, guys, uh, I like better the way to access uh, the S Pen on the Note 5, the Note 4, I'm sorry. However, when it comes to functionality, I have to say I like better the way that it looks on the uh, Note 5, since it's gonna give you uh, the floating icon, and it's gonna give you the option to access that icon at any point. So uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, quick video. Subscribe for more. Uh, share this video to help others. Uh, if you own any of these phones, congratulations to you. These are both amazing phones. However, you know, I think uh, the uh, functionality and the options right now that we have with the S Pen on the Note 5 are better. So thank you, guys, and I will see you later.